Welcome back to Simulacra 2. Last thing we did was speak with all three of Maya's friends. So let's update Detective Marillo and what we learned. <laughs> Man, nothing much. Something doesn't add up. This sounds promising. What do you have? They knew details of the crime scene. What? All we told the public is Maya died of unknown causes, nothing else. What did they tell you? Arya mentioned Maya dying in the living room. You'd have to be at the crime scene to know that. Or make a very lucky guess. Uncovered any other info? Mina knew about the anonymous caller. Aside from the department, only the emergency dispatcher would know about this. Or the caller themselves. Okay, what else? Rex said something about her face being injured. Only we know about those marks. Either information leaked or he knows something we don't. Is that everyone you have? Or everything you have? What's your take? There might be a leak in the force. No! They could have been there. It's possible. But if they're lying, we have to prove it. You're sure that's all you have so far? They claim to have alibis. She asked about their whereabouts, huh? Good job. What did they say? Arya was recording a video when Maya died. Okay. Uh, tell me you have more intel. Mina was rehearsing for a gig when Maya died. Right. Anything else? Rex was editing a video when Maya died. <laughs> sure he was. That's all you have? Hold on. You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> They're all hard-working people. <laughs> Their alibis are pretty weak. Weaker than the station's damn coffee. I don't buy it for a second. You got something here, but we need more. What else did you dig up? What else can we pursue? I got a theory. We'll spit it out. They're intentionally withholding information. I mean, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? I believe so, too. They must have seen or heard something. Whatever happened to Maya spooked them enough to stay mum. I think it was an accident. I don't think they were conspiring to kill Maya. Might just be an accident. Even so, they shouldn't be keeping things from us. We need solid evidence to nail them. I tried getting her laptop myself, but the chief switched the locks to the evidence room. If you don't find a way to access Maya's laptop remotely, the trail ends here. Yeah, that's the last pending thing we have to do. Before I... Try to log in and recover Maya's password. Let's see what's new on Jabber. These are the new posts? Yeah. I don't make excuses, I make money. Arya Park. No, it isn't easy. This life isn't for everyone. So before you think you can do my job, let me spare you some wisdom. Don't compare yourself to me, ever. You're not on my level, and you never will be. Okay. Mina, have you guys got tickets to my show yet? I promise that it's worth it. Been practicing non-stop. Oh, 
Okay, what's new on Chimera? Uh. <laughs> it won't let me scroll away from that. What the hell? Is this some sort of malware? Tired of losers holding back your perfect self? No. How about trolls spewing hate on you? No. Do you deserve loyal admirers instead of persistent haters? No. Spare us a minute as we reshape your reality. Take these questions to see how you like your reality to be shaped into. Which image best describes how you see yourself now? Um... I'm sure this is going to end well. What would your journey to the top feel like? What do you seek the most? What would you change about yourself? What are you willing to become? Idol, you're dealt the idol card by TRM. You're charm personified. When you talk, people listen. Uh, there's desire to rise to your level, so your challenge lies in, lies in relating to your audience without intimidating them. Strengthen your perfection by projecting the facade that you are just like everyone else. Discovered missing group chat thread. Hmm. Huh. So now we can just view this whenever we want. That was interesting. What is TRM again? Tailored Reputation Management. All oh, right. Yeah, this is new. I liked... Oh, discovered missing chat thread. I like the power. People fearing me. Used to be a huge bully. Maybe I still am. I think that I like the power. People fearing me. Although that was short-lived because my need for affection was greater. My tragic story? Don't have one. I was just lonely. Didn't know how to make friends or interact with people. Had a lot of anger as a result. It didn't get better when I grew up. Ended pushing people away even more. That's when I came across this page. It introduced me to the community I was looking for all my life. This is also new. You guys, thank you so much for coming out to my show tonight. I really felt the love. Sometimes the pain is so raw, I can't even find words. And Maya, Maya was my guiding light. Without her, I'm just groping around in darkness, you know? It's like death just stalks me everywhere I go. Like I have to keep crashing into tides of Suffering. For you guys. Tonight, it was just me pouring myself into the music. And I know that's what she would have wanted.
This is also new. Grief is the price you pay for love. Alexa Costas. All right, we've heard that name before, Alexa Costas. This picture means the world to me because my best friend took it. She was the closest thing I had to a sister, and she will be missed. Rest in peace, Maya. There's something very, very odd about these hashtags. Maya, best friend forever, mourning, eulogy, grief. Okay, that's fine. And then hot threads boutique. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? Didn't we not explore Mina's um, page? Yeah, we didn't. We haven't. We've explored Rex's. And we explored Arya's. But not Mina's yet. Okay. Let's go back to the oldest. Hi, you guys. So, um... I'm not like good at talking about myself because I got like massive PTSD from experiencing so much violence in my short life so far. Sometimes I just want to give up, you know? I mean, I've lost so much. What's the point? For you guys, your support is what keeps me going. I mean, because you, you helped me get the music out. And it hurts less that way. Whoever plays Mina, their acting is really bad or cheesy. I'm, I'm not sure which. <laughs> Oh, it's just kind of funny. Life keeps knocking me down and I don't know why I keep standing up. I guess I'm just living for the music. And more importantly, all you great folks who listen to my little stories. Scan? What is this? Mina's tragedy. Mina reveals that a personal tragedy has been a major source of inspiration for her music, but some of her fans are doubting this. My birthday week has always been really hard for me. Because it reminds me of my best friend who passed on. And I wrote this song in her memory. Used to think we would live forever Let all our dreams guide us to wherever But then you, but then you left me all lost and alone Used to feel you would always be by my side You went to sue me, your life was denied Wish I could watch, watch you smile just one more time You are gone. I'll count the dying days down till I join you all the stars. The girl who loved me with all my scars. They have a really nice voice. They say time heals all wounds, yet for me, time is a constant reminder of how long it's been since I lost my best friend. Music softened that pain, but I'll always carry her memory wherever I go. Today's the 1st of August, and it's my birthday. It also marks the time where I lost Erica in a car accident. Thankfully, they arrested the driver, but it still hurts. I want you guys to know about Erica because she's an important part of who I am. So, every year, every birthday, I play this song as a tribute to her. Here's to you, Erica Simmons. I love you.
Thank you guys for your love and support. It gives me the strength I need to go on. Intersection has tons of cameras now because of the accident. Hmm. It looks like there's some confusion over whether the driver who killed uh, Erica Simmons was caught or not. I think this is something I can search for in the police database, right? This is a criminal case. Erica Simmons. I have the first and last name and date right today is the first of august and that's when erica was lost uh, i don't know what year yeah i don't know what year but first of august of some year <laughs> okay i'll search for erica simmons in a little bit but let's keep looking smoking kills but so does loving someone Sometimes the simplest words are the best. Hashtag mood. Sad. <laughs> Saw the Disc Jockey's review of my recent show and I'm extremely hurt. I'm a disappointment and I don't deserve your support. I've been crying all day. I feel incredibly numb. Canceling my performance later for my mental health. It'll be too much to see all of you and know that I'm such a failure. <coughs> he enjoys wallowing in self-pity and uses it as a means to get attention from others. I don't know if that's fair. It just sounds like they're pretty severely depressed. And then we just watch this. Okay, Erica Simmons, 1st of August, some year. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh, hold on. There's a couple things we can try to reconstruct. Need a boost. Someone introduced Maya to an influencer boosting service. Reveal the identity of the introducer. Uh, do we have anything? We've collected so many. The recruits contact. That might be it. Hmm. Camericon. Okay, I don't think we have it. Group chat. The last message Maya sent is contained in this group chat. Tied to a video synced to Maya's laptop. Okay, can't do that. Yeah, oh, road accidents. Yeah, okay. District. Okay, we don't have to put in a year, so yeah, this is definitely going to get me the information I want. We have the name, Erica Simmons, we have the uh, month, but district. I don't know what the district would be, actually. It doesn't seem to be mentioned anywhere in here, or even in the comments. Also, I realized that on Camara we looked at our friends, but we didn't look at the stuff we've posted. Namaste, you guys. Good morning. This is like my favorite thing to do in the morning. First thing uh, right after I wake up is I come onto my yoga mat and I spend time in this natural energy, especially in the sunlight. The vitamin D is great for you and it's just so powerful, you know. I feel already energetically charged 
in my solar plexus from the center of my body. It's absolutely amazing. And I hope that you guys can adopt this as your daily practice. And while you're there, take three deep breaths for yourself, right? I like to keep it really simple. I'll just inhale love and exhale ego three times and then I get on with my day and it's always amazing. And I hope you guys have an amazing day too. tough to stay positive sometimes. People will try to drag you down and mock your dreams. Believe me, I get affected too. But let the sunshine drown out the hate. So proud of my gals at Mind Body Fitness. Love doing this guest class. Can't wait to do it again. People always think that my life's perfect, but that's just so far from the truth. I struggled with my health for the longest time. I had no energy to get out of bed. I was losing hair and I was just in so much pain. So what I did was I went to study nutrition to learn what works for me because doctors, they don't even know that much anyway. They're just trying to sell you big pharma. You just gotta go listen to what your heart tells you. I've been really getting into juicing, and fruit and veggies are such a great replacement to all these silly pills we keep popping. Trust me guys, nature is the best medicine. Fuck you, no it's not. My friends make fun of me because I believe in magic, but I strongly believe that there's more to this world than what we see. There must be something more than just us, right? Going vegan really changed my life. It mended my body and soul. Look at these gorgeous colors. That tells you how wholesome this is for you instead of some nasty fried empty calorie junk. Anytime I feel like sleeping in and skipping my morning routine, I just pack my mat and take it outdoors. Something about being in nature just unlocks so much energy. Hi guys! It is day two of the Celery Cabbage Hemp Seed Cleanse and this thing makes me feel at one with the universe. It's such a great post-workout drink. You know, it fills up your electrolytes, it balances out your free radical levels, and um, just make sure that you're sticking to non-GMO veggies only, okay? Bye! I'm dying from all this bullshit. <laughs> God. Usually not a fan of gym selfies since I actually come here to work out, but I just wanted to share my amazing cleanse journey, one step at a time. Maya talks about her routine at Mind Body Fitness. Hey guys, I actually wanted to share this with you today. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I do want to be honest about how I used to look like. This is a photo of me from a couple years ago. I know, right? But the person that you see in front of you right now is a direct result of a good change in diet and a healthy lifestyle. I just want you to remember to maintain that positive mindset. And remember, you can do it too! <laughs> that was so awkwardly edited, The how they photoshopped the old picture of them. I get a lot of messages about how perfect my life is because people mistake my Camara posts for real life. It took a lot of energy for me to get here, so I just want to keep it real for all you guys and let you know that you can get here too.
Everything's been... Oh, yeah. What's the date on this, by the way? 29 days ago? 29 days ago. Everything's been so wrong lately, and I spotted this out in the wild. I think it's a sign for me to do what I need to do. Believe in what the universe throws your way. Twenty-seven days ago. All my fans and my followers, you were the greatest gift I could ever ask for. I hit an incredible Chimera milestone yesterday, and I can't express my gratitude and appreciation enough. I'm still reeling over the fact that there are so many of you following me. I love each and every one of you so much. You are why I do this. I'm nothing without your support. Thank you for choosing to stay with me. Can't wait to see where we'll go next. I think we read this before. I think I might have read this before backing out of Maya's Chimera profile. Okay, I think that's about it, right? Oh. That's these. Ah, right, they're chats. Creepy. Can I just free dial? Nine one one was called at midnight. Oh, there could be. Oh my God, there could be so much here. Uh, where do I start? Where do I stop? Uh, let's check out the internet first. Recently visited. Did I visit this, or is this from Maya? I can just type whatever. Mind Body Fitness Gym. Your body is a temple, let's honor it. Elite Gym caters to the needs of an exclusive clientele that live an eventful and active life in the city. Mm -hmm. Meet your masters. Right, who is Maya's master? <laughs> I don't remember their name. Ooh, downloading their schedule. Whoa. Don't really know what to do with this, but I'm sure it's going to be important later. Am I supposed to be able to see Sunday? Because it's covered up. Choose your preferred master. Oh, we can have them call us. Huh. I could try to interview them, see if they'll call me. Yeah. Okay. I just need to find out who their mind body fitness master was. Uh, I think it's in the clues. Ah, uh, it's Anand. I didn't see it in the clues, but it's in the email. Yep, Anand, you're master for the class for... It said somewhere... Uh, fly cycle class. Thursday fly cycle. Okay, now the question is, what's Maya's number? Is there like a... Me? In the phone? <laughs> yeah, there it is. My phone number. Can I, uh... uh what's this gonna do? Phone busy. Line busy. No kidding. Uh, well, I don't think there's any way to copy that, so I guess I'll just take a picture of it. With my phone. Let's try to enter that. So 
So Anand. Uh, uh, hold on. Where they're not here and they're not down there, right? Is it in the schedule? Where are downloaded files? Media? Thursday. There's a nod. But yeah, if I can't select them, then I can't have them call me. I could ask all the other, <laughs> all the other people to call me, see if they know anything. Hmm. Yeah, non only is on the schedule for Thursday. No other days. I'm trying to figure out if that's uncommon. I'm seeing like two or three a week body combat a couple times. Yeah, it's a little bit odd that they only come once, but I mean, I guess not that odd. I guess I'll just ask some random to come. Take the juggernaut. One, five, five, five. I don't need to put a dash, do I? No. One, five, 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 nine, one, six, six, oh, sixty. Is that correct? One, five, 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 nine, one, six, six, oh, sixty. No match. Your energies do not match. Hmm. Kind of want to try them all. Ooh, success. Elvin the Almighty. Thank you for starting your journey with us. You've been sent to Alvin the Almighty and he'll contact you promptly. Okay. I wonder how promptly. Like... Should I wait? Or just go do whatever? I guess let's go browse the web. So that was all for this website, right? Yep. Alluren. Be true, be you, be alluring. We can call the Alluren Hotline. I don't know what we're going to say, but... Welcome to the Alluren Hotline. Be true, be you, be alluring. Press 1 to ask about our exclusive deals. Press 2 to ask about our brand new loyalty program. Press 3 to ask about our Muse program. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please press 0. Black. Bold and ballsy. A strong signature signifies a strong character. Get the Alluren Triple B Ballpoint Pen. Available today only. Welcome to the Alluren Hotline. Be true. At Alluren, we recognize that reinventing yourself is part of growth and evolution. With our loyalty program, get rewarded for subsequent purchases. We are offering a 50% discount for every fifth item bought from our retail stores within the season. Just ask any sales representative and sign up today. Welcome to the Alluren Hotline. To follow up on your application as our muse, please press 1. If you want to apply as one of our muses, please press 2. Otherwise, press 0 to return to our main menu. Want to be our muse? Are you, you enough to be a part of us? Hunt us down at our pop-up stores and get your applications filled. If you have already applied and want to get in touch with your talent liaison, please dial the four-digit extension number after the beep. Well. Awkward. D. 
do we have their four digit extension? I remember reading something about. Oh, I can make these move. I guess this would go between different pages on the home screen if there were any. Um, I remember reading about Aluren somewhere, but the question is where exactly? God, it could be anywhere. I guess I'll check the clues. Yeah, I don't think we have their extension yet. I think the only mention of Aluren has been with Arya. Arya saying that they're like sponsored by Aluren, and then some people saying like, wait, aren't they called muses? And saying like, you know, wh what's up with this? Are you faking being sponsored by them? And I think that's it. Pretty sure anyway. I love that it simulates loading in the images. PR Muse. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any need to read all this. Just, you know, marketing copy. Oh, we already looked at this website, didn't we? What if I did insert a name? What if I said Maya Crane? That would probably be a pretty weird thing to do, but you know what? Ah, we're full. Find one of my previous students who attended my sessions and they can refer you to a free preview session. See, I know this. Rex's new recruit is a user named Pumped Up Clicks. They're offering to be a referral to Rex's talk and they shared an email address. A referral to Rex's talk. What exactly can I do with an email address? I can't enter that in as the name, can I? Maybe I can. Yeah, not surprisingly, entering the email address as the name doesn't do anything. I can't just... The thing is, I can't just send an email, right? Like, I can't just write a new email. So I can't email that email address. Uh, but I am thinking... I mean, look at this web address, rexkeegan.web. Well, it's info at pumpedupclicks.web. So can I just go to... Can I just free type in pumpedupclicks.web? Really? Oh. Ah. Make sure I'm not spelling it wrong. Pumped up clicks. What if I just type that in? Okay. Pumped up clicks.web. Really surprised that doesn't work. Huh. In that case, I don't think there's anything else to do but try to get into the laptop. Oh, wait, no. Phone. Alluring hotline. I wonder if there's any notes anywhere in here or if it's just their phone number. I could also just try calling all these people. Just cold calling them and hoping they say something. There's a lot of names in here, though. What if I just tried one? Be pretty awkward if I dialed nine one one. I don't know, dial the last one. Could be fun. That wasn't fun. Let's try to get into that laptop. 
just got to remember where I needed to do that. I think it was in media. Yeah. Forgot password. Security questions. What is the greatest gift to you? Uh. Um. Life? Yeah. Love? Nature? Mm -mm. D -d -d Detox diet? Okay. Aha! Greatest gift is fans. They're fans. What is your favorite song? Oh, we... <laughs> We have it in our list, but I'm going to have to cancel out of this to go see it. Yeah, it's just right down here. Multicolored Lies. Multicolored Lies. What quote do you relate to the most? Uh, I think it was aim high, fly higher. What? Wasn't that it? Uh, hold on. It was on their Chimera profile. Aim high, fly higher. Oh, wait, no. This wasn't it. It was a bit of uh, poetry from Lex Acostas. I think it was mentioned in the the group chat like like way back at the beginning I suppose I'd have a picture for it so I probably didn't need to go here but uh, yeah new beginnings <laughs> all right Well, let's go with the oldest. Or, actually, they're sinking. We might have to watch these in a different order. Yeah, okay, gotta watch this one first. 21st of October. We have to stop it. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Please, please just trust me. I mean, like, why Why would a boosting service want to kill us? Because the Ripple Man is <laughs> Okay, the Ripple Man is not real, Maya. You have to stop it. The service is a bit weird, yes, but it's probably just a marketing ploy and a prank to mess with our heads. A prank? Our following shot right through the roof after we signed up. That's not normal! Oh, come on, it's just an algorithmic hack. It doesn't run on magic. This thing wants me as a sacrifice. Does if awesome? we don't stop it, this is not gonna end with me. What's this Ripple Man gonna do? Wave us to death? If I show it to you on my phone, will you believe me? Okay, sure. This one? All of this can be explained, babe. You're just oh, no. stressed out, okay? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You're just stressed out. I'm not throwing away my future because you're going nuts. I'm not crazy! <laughs> I'm trying to save us, all of us. Maybe if we use a different service or something. It's too maybe late that might help. Too late for that now. This is already happening, but we can stop it. We can okay, stop it. this is all just because of that stupid deal, right? Okay, look, no one's gonna take that deal, so nothing's gonna happen. You know I'm not stupid enough to go for some vague trade. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Okay. <laughs> it sort of seems like they got possessed at the end there. So it's the boosting service. That is the service that made the phone go all weird and took over the phone, basically. The Ripple Man. <laughs> Video of Maya confronting her friends about the Ripple Man. She dies suddenly shortly after. Oh, that's that's when they died? That's the death. Oh. Arya, Mina, and Rex are seen in this video. Well, that's pretty good evidence that they were all there and they all lied. It's also very good evidence that they didn't do anything.
Hmm. The others aren't sinking. I think that was the thing we needed to do, right? Update Marillo in the group about Maya's laptop video. Yeah. Okay, well, I think this is a good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, uh, I think we're going to confront the three co-workers about why they lied. <laughs>